10,000 people, we did it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. For this special, I'm not just going to say thank you. I'm taking you behind the scenes and I'll tell you a story I've never shared before. How I went from a curious kid to hitting 10k subs. All the failures I've been through shouldn't make them, including the Qualcomm disaster. You would like to hear that one. And then, as a reward, we'll dive into something even the biggest global agencies fear. We'll dive into zero-day exploits. My story. Before cybersecurity became a buzzword, I was just a kid trying to figure out why my laptop wasn't loading the Windows XP system. I didn't know anything, but deep inside me lived an obsession. How does this thing work and how can I fix it? Taking apart my first computer, sadly breaking it, and then fixing it again. That was the spark. I could say that none of this would happen if there wasn't one person nearby me who played the biggest role. The technician, an IT guy who fixed my old laptop from 2006. I really enjoyed using that old Acer laptop. It was the Aspire 5610 model. Windows XP Professional always brings up nostalgic memories to me. When he fixed that laptop, I was wondering how did he do that? Before I went to the repair shop, I was researching the whole internet to find out the solution to my problem. Sadly, or luckily, I didn't find one, so he fixed it. That was the main reason I started learning an IT, almost 8 years ago. First, I mastered the Windows, literally. It took me 3 full years to learn everything about Windows environment. From how to install it from USB, to what CMD, Regedit, Task Manager, Win API are, and trust me, much more. There's always something new to learn. Then I started exploring OSs. I tried Linux for the first time, and I did not like it. I was extremely scared to use it. Terminal, Grub, installation, I was terrified with it. Until I realized how much data Windows collects and obviously sells. So I decided to give another shot to Linux. Since I was already interested in hacking, creating exploits, malwares, I got recommended Kali Linux. Thanks God to that day when I first installed it. I fell in love with it. The logo alone looks, well, words can't describe that beauty. First 5 months of using Kali Linux were the depressing and the most difficult part of my life. And I'm not joking. Saying goodbye to Windows felt amazing, but also I lost myself on the unknown track. Linux was new to me and I had to adapt. Adaption took me 6 months and then I jumped onto sudo rm -r Just kidding. I started using scripts, tools and I was researching the internet to learn how to really hack. Since there are not many high quality videos that will tell you exact steps you must do to legally hack your own network, I decided to create them. That's how Alex Cybersecurity came to life on 20th August this year. One random video upload and boom, I started existing. The hardest part was starting from absolute zero. In physics, even the lowest temperature in Kelvins can't reach absolute zero, but I did. Okay, that was a terrible one. I will never ever make physics jokes again. Hopefully. But okay, that was the beginning. You get the point. You do. I'm not complicated, not because I'm a man, but because I'm that kind of a person. Moment when knowledge wasn't enough. At some point, I realized something. I wasn't just interested in how things work. I wanted to know how they could break. That was the beginning of me being advanced in my field. I started learning networks, then exploit development, and eventually I discovered CTFs and certificates. That was the moment I knew, yeah, this is it, this is what I'm meant to do. Why exactly did I start this YouTube channel? Simple. I wanted to explain cybersecurity in a way that I wish someone explained it to me. Now let's talk about the 10k success. The path wasn't easy. It was quite the opposite. It was extremely hard. Stress, expectations, burnout, 16 hours of work per day, things some people will never dare to do. My videos weren't monetized, hate speech started appearing, 
and even some comments managed to terrify me. But explaining complex things in simple language to people is probably the hardest thing to do. That's a whole skill on its own. But here we are. I was shocked when I saw a comment saying that my video about the auto attack will be used as a reference for students. Also, I got many Instagram messages telling me that I'm a great explainer. These small things meant the world to me. They made me keep pushing harder. And thank you. Again. Okay, now let's talk about the big failure. Qualcomm. If you think the journey to 10k was smooth, let me show you something. This was sitting on my desk for the last two weeks. Can you guess what I was doing? Well, I've been trying to gain full control over a Qualcomm's chip on my old Huawei phone, bypassing protections, digging into layers that really don't want to be touched. And after weeks of work, sitting for 10 hours straight in a chair, performing digital surgery, I failed. Completely. Zero results, but here's the truth. That's 90% of cybersecurity. Analysis, learning and failure. Anyone who tells you they hack everything on the first try is lying. At least, I managed to get the dump of all the possible information I could find inside my memory, CPU, bootloader, etc. Maybe I seem like a guy full of knowledge, but my primary field is more in practical things. Things you can touch and exploit. I'm more of a hardware than a software professional. Yeah, I know how to code, but coding doesn't bring me that much of a dopamine as disassembling things does. However, I tried writing a zero-day exploit for Snapdragon's 450 chipset. And again, I can confess, I failed. But I learned a lot and gained experience. And experience is the most important thing you can own. Before we dive into zero-day exploits and how big an impact it has on the market, I have a big announcement for you. First, subscribe if you're new and click that like button so more people interested in our topic find me on YouTube. Remember. I'm not the one who decides how big the community is. You are. And now, I created a free chatting space. Yeah, we can all finally talk together on one place. Discord. So click the link in the description and join us now. I promise you won't regret it. Also, in the meanwhile, I created a top tier membership options on my YouTube channel and now we have channel memberships, which include earlier access to videos, videos for members only, and access to fancy YouTube built-in features. So join if you want. Thanks. With all that said, let's continue with the video. The reward. Speaking of failed attempts, let's talk about that holy grail. Let's talk about zero days. Imagine having a key that opens every door in the world and nobody even knows that the door exists. That's a zero day. A bug is just a mistake. A vulnerability is a mistake that can be abused. An exploit is the method to abuse it. But a zero day, that's an exploit nobody else on the planet knows about. So how do people find zero days? The same way I tried. Fuzzing, reverse engineering, code auditing, horror analysis. It's a war of patience and creativity. And here's the crazy part. There is an entire market around them. Companies like Zerodium used to buy them. Agencies still buy them. And then there is the black market. The place where a single iOS zero day can be worth more than a luxury car. They're risky, powerful and insanely valuable. Let me give you two quick examples. Stuxnet. It didn't just crash a program, it damaged Physical nuclear infrastructure, a digital exploit causing real-world destruction. Eternal Blue, used in WannaCry, it showed the whole world how one vulnerability can take down hospitals, companies, governments, everything. So, from a kid taking apart computers, to countless failures like the Qualcomm project, to a channel where we explore things like zero days and ethical hacking. That's been my journey to 10,000 of you almost 11,000 since the numbers have changed while recording this video. Thank you for being part of this. And for this 10k special, I've got one more question for you. What's the craziest topic you want us to break down next? Drop your dream ideas in the comments. And don't forget to join our Discord community. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next video. 
Goodbye, friends.